Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be giving you a full in-depth review of this brand new Ford GT. I'm gonna talk about the powertrain, the performance specs, and the exterior and interior features, as well as why this car is so special and unique to Ford. So let's get right into the review. Tucked underneath the rear hatch is a 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6, which is a bit of a departure from the previous version of the GT, which was powered by a V8 engine. Now the V6 may not sound quite as good as the V8 did, but it does produce 647 horsepower and 550 pound-feet of torque for the 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. On the track, it should be able to go 0-60 to 60 in just 3 seconds and reach a top speed of 216 miles per hour. The exterior of the new GT is made completely of carbon fiber body panels. This particular model is equipped with the carbon package, so it comes with 20 inch carbon fiber rims, a carbon fiber stripe down the center of the car, and the available titanium exhaust system. Standard on the car are LED headlights and taillights, an adjustable electronic rear spoiler, and flying buttresses along the side of the car that create a teardrop shaped cabin for better aerodynamics. I like how Ford was able to fit in a few features that hint at the previous generation, but also wasn't afraid to modernize the car and completely redesign it. The interior of the new GT is simple and lightweight, with carbon fiber and Alcantara Sparka racing seats that are fixed in place. In order for a new driver to experience the GT, they would have to adjust the steering wheel and the pedal box to fit their height. Because of this, Ford moved all the controls to the steering wheel to make it easier to reach them on the track. But it does still come with a 6.5 inch center LCD screen and a 10.1 inch driver display. Only 1,350 GTs will be produced, each costing around half a million dollars, making this a very unique and special car. Alright guys, there you have my full in-depth review of the new Ford GT. If you enjoyed the review, make sure to leave it a thumbs up, comment your thoughts below, and go ahead and check out my channel if you haven't already, because you're definitely going to want to subscribe so you don't miss all these epic supercar and hype car reviews. So I hope you enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching.